Okay, welcome to round one with War Lantern. Um, on the draw, I think this is a pretty easy keep. We have multiple pieces of disruption, fast mana. Um, specifically, we have multiple... Like, we can... Glimmer Void being Glimmer Void is not a, uh, an actual downside here. So here... And I guess I want to lead on Thoughtseize. Uh, Concealed Courtyard's probably Eldrazi in taxes. Um, let's pop up some guide and just make sure. Kind of interested. Uh, so, just positioning ourselves mentally before we start going through this nonsense. I guess I should just Thoughtseize my opponent and confirm, but... Okay, so they appear to be Obzon. Okay, so that's a little more interesting. So, Soren doesn't actually matter. That, um, like, unlike most Planeswalkers, that emblem means nothing. Siege Rhino is basically just 3 damage against this hand, so that doesn't mean anything. I think the only card in this hand that matters is Scavenging Ooze. Even though I do have the Needle for that. Yeah, I think I'd rather take that. And... I don't see a reason to use my bauble here. My opponent's mana is also pretty bad this game. So I can probably attack that. So this turn I'm going to, I guess, I don't see anything wrong with thought seizing again here. I don't think I predict anything crazy from that. Yeah, let's thought seize again. Because I can't get to my mana this way. Okay, push, siege, rhino, solemn. So they hit a land. Um, I think I'm just supposed to take rhino. I don't really care about the planeswalker doing stuff. Rhino is the one that could, in theory, punk me out from a weird spot. This is, uh... Oh, wow, did I just F4 through that on accident? Oh, uh, that's fine. I don't think it's a huge deal. It's kind of interesting. I'm bringing up my, uh, all my databases here, basically. Let's see if we can win with the Handicap. Okay, so we know that they drew Finks. So their hand is Push, Soren, Souls. I think I want to protect this from Liliana, so I want to keep a card or a mana. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to think of what I could possibly need to name. I can't name... So if they have Tireless Tracker, that's a little annoying. I can't name Clue. Um... I can name, uh, I guess Liliana is probably just the best name, because Liliana actually could kill me. Um, I could name Creature Lands, but I don't think that's a big deal. So let's, uh, I guess, I'm just going to hold the Pyrite in case, or I guess I don't need to now. Now that that's happened, this is correct. And I guess something I missed that turn was I could have bobbled my opponent. So they have all bricks here. I don't actually think I even want to bubble my opponent yet. I think I just want to get my hand as empty as possible before I do that, and then draw two cards on a turn that I can spend the mana. Okay, so this worked out fine. And now I can either choose to take some damage, or start soft locking my opponent. I think I'd rather just wait. I guess I can do this on their upkeep. And then I draw the card on my turn to do that. So they can draw that. I don't really care. Um, 
I don't really want to use the spell bomb here. Yeah, this is a Soren. So yeah, basically that complete miss of a turn. It's kind of funny because we're talking about how little it matters. Um, I don't think there's a reason to do this. I could pyrite to draw a card, but I was saying I don't. Eh, I don't really care about that. Yeah, let's draw a card. Let's try and get to somewhere more locky next turn. Okay, we're doing okay on that. Okay, that's pretty reasonable. Um, hmm. So I think I want to just cast the most expensive card in my hand, which protects my other cards. Um, I know their last card is a Fatal Push that doesn't do anything. I'm going to Bobble, and then presumably I just want to upkeep do the same thing. I'm just trying to protect myself from uh, Abrupt Decays. I don't think that I need to dig through my stuff more. Mm. I'm trying to think of I need to dig through my stuff more than I need to stop them from drawing stuff. I don't think that's true. I think that there's like a lot of cards that I can draw that do stuff. Oh well, that is that's right on out of here. Um, this card's problematic because they get to create clues, and then they have like this huge stack of instant speed draws that you otherwise can't handle. Uh, and like I said, you can't name clue token with Pithy Needle. Oh, n okay, that's fine. I just saw black green and was just immediately terrified. Yeah, that shouldn't matter to me. Okay, so I have to dump three cards this turn, and that looks pretty easy so far. So, let's... Stirring to start, and see where we go. Okay, so this should be sufficient. I don't care about the order on those. I'm not the kind of person who is going to worry about that in a long enough game. Okay, my opponent's got a brick. This... This game is officially over. Um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that no one needs to watch the rest of this, and I'm going to turbo mode. Okay, so we won relatively easily there. Uh, it, I think the only thing that I learned about playing the stack on Magic Online through that was that you actually shouldn't let your opponent have Urborg because it's just a pain to deal with the multiple clicks. Um, you click your lands, you have to select, oh, which one do I want, black mana or black mana? Great. Um, so moving sideboard, uh, let's pull up the handy dandy master sheet. So. Uh, ch -ch -ch I did not see Obzon in uh, Sam's article. However, um, fortunately, it's on the Master Handy Dandy Canister list. Um, this is definitely a draw first matchup. Uh, we've got some Tezzerets, uh, Search, and let me make sure I just understand this. Leave those with that. So, yeah. Uh, there's Search and Leyline and Tezzeret. It's very similar to Shadow, right? Um, you're just like saying, oh, my... It's... I'll say that it's easier because they don't have the cantrips. So you can assemble these crazy lock pieces pretty well. Um, and not worry too much about it. Uh, I guess I'm not super huge on the Search because it's more likely to just get decayed down. I do like these. Um... Decay for Stony Silence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven cards. And then... I didn't see Liliana's, so I'm not super huge. This is like a questionable sideboard out. And I guess you don't need the second jar so much. So that's six. Um, and then 
the Witch Wing comes out because you have faster, better versions of it for the matchup. Uh, plus, also, it's only super huge early, and you can't get it in early. Cage out. Uh, an Opal out. You don't need to be as fast. You don't want to expend cards that way, and it's just a fine way to lose to get like your mana shut off by uh, Stony Pixis. So those five are what uh, Canister sideboarding out. I'm going to look at Sam's Death Shadow sideboarding notes just to compare. I should probably just click some kind of submit. I think the last card... Uh, I don't think you need both ley lines necessarily. Yeah, I don't like this cutting lanterns here because you can actually lock your opponent because they don't have cantrips. Oh, I guess the pyrite spell bomb is not super necessary. Okay. Cool. We've executed a submit, and Magic Online has elected to just take our game and put it in the garbage. Uh, I, I don't know what else I could ask for. This is just, like, redundant lock in every way. This is just the best possible. Uh, my opponent also elected to play first. Um, no? No? Why, why, why are you over here? Why, why? Magic Online, stop. Please. Please stop. I would just like to continue with my life. And not have you just disappear all over. Um, so bridges down. <sighs> Probably lead on shores. Shredder. I guess I want to... My plan here is to put all the cards that are thought seized. Like, if I get thought seized or uh, inquisitioned again, like, I don't want to be stuck with... Uh, the card that I need, like the non-redundant piece in my hand. Yeah, Goyf, whatever. We have to kill our opponent semi-quickly, but not too quickly. Uh, well, that makes my life super easy. Um, Lantern. What do we got on both sides? Um, does a Skuz actually matter here? Not super sure it does. I guess... I could be building to shredding. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's, yeah, let's get the ooze out of here. I think that I might want to shred back my bridge at some point this game. Yeah, giving my opponent land is not the end of the world. My opponent, hmm. I think if they have a discard spell, I'd rather discard the decay, or rather use the decay before the discard spell resolves. So I'd rather leave up my two mana that I have here. Okay, so that's basically a brick. I think I'm taking a hit from Goyf here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to not decay EOT. I want to decay after I know the contents of my opponent's hand. Um, just in case there's like something hiding, like they were slow rolling something. I guess they wouldn't be because of the I okay set. What is going on? Oh, is this a uh, decay my shredder? That's unfortunate. It means that I don't want this jar then. I'm just going to decay that now before I lose my opal uh, metal craft here. I'm going to have my Lantern Info for a while. So Pulse and Doofuses. So it's definitely just the Pulse. And I played this Lantern. I guess I don't have to make a decision on whether I use a Lantern for a effectively Scry 1 here. Um, until I see what their next card is. Ugh. That's so annoying. Pretty sure I'm just supposed to shuffle my deck because I don't... 
I don't want them to draw this, but I think I need to draw my pieces faster. That's bad. So I still have... Uh, I don't know if that was right, actually. I'm just thinking through the implications of that. And I think... Yeah, they're going to track her. That's really annoying. Um, I should have thought about needing to whir. So I just want to do some combat math here. Okay, so this thought sees is going to have to be cast at some point. Oh, that's not good. So I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This, it has to be cast sometime, and if I cast it now, it actually saves me a turn of damage. And the reason it has to be cast is because I have to, um, I have to get my hand to empty against Lingering Souls in the face of Uh, this game could not be any more difficult, could it? Yeah, the Lingering Souls against a bridge would not be ideal. So, uh, I think I have to shuffle with my Lantern. I'm not going to be locking my opponent anytime soon. Yeah, they still get to cast this for damage. No one knows their top card. I mean, I know they have Stony Silence, and that's going to make my life really annoying for the next while. Also, having to drop off of bridge range there is kind of annoying. Well, I guess Shredder, and I have to hope to draw... I have seven out or six outs, because I can draw a bridge or whir. Tezzeret seems pretty important in this matchup because it beats Stony Silence. Okay, we died this game. I'd like... There we go. Okay, so... I think I want to sideboard out one ley line for a search. I think that search is important in winning uh, Stony Silence games. I think that's more important than dealing with discard spells. Especially because without Snapcaster in my opponent's deck, um, they're in a spot where it is difficult for them to layer discard in some of the ways that, like, a ley line... I, I guess that's not necessarily 100% true, but, like, without Snapcaster in their deck, I feel like I'm not necessarily shutting off multiple cards from their strategy in a game. So let's try this. These matchups, these green-black matchups are always difficult, so I would not like to play first. Just confirming that that's right, but I'm like 99% sure that you want to draw first in these matches. Really? You want to play first against Obzon? Okay. I'm going to assume the reasons that you need to be able to out a Stony Silence through discard. Yeah, I'm in. Lead on discard because you can potentially take their discard. If that's like their card that matters. So they have cards that don't matter. A thought sees that matters. A pulse that matters. And no green mana. Huh. Pretty sure I'm supposed to take thought sees. thinking through the implications of that. Pulse is pretty annoying. If I don't take Pulse, I have to play my Opal this turn. Um, they can Thought Seize. They take my Whir. And then in the same spot of trying to draw to a bridge. If I Pulse, I'm drawing to... I guess the problem with... I have to take Pulse because it doesn't... Um, other 
bridges are still dead draws then. I guess other discards a live draw against a pulse. So that leaves me with six, seven is the the jar, eight, nine, ten good outs. Yeah. I think I want to take Thoughtseize because it makes discard live. I want to cast my Opal because if it gets discarded, this hand kind of falls apart. Just double checking my sideboard to make sure I brought in the one jar that I need to stop that pulse. If they didn't draw a one drop, that's fine. Spire, that's good. Um, I can still cast Decay through a Stony because of this. Ooh, Search is really good here. I don't have a lot of fear of dumping my other cards. So they have a Village I know about, so that's a blank. They don't have that uh, tracker, you say. I guess I have the decay for the tracker, so that's not terrible. Okay, that's really good for me. I think I still want to stick my search here. But then I can like whir for a shredder or a, a jar and then use the other whir for the other piece. So they have treetop, no courtyard, tracker they're about to cast. They'll get a clue, but I can probably beat a singular clue here. I guess I'm not in a rush. Their cards don't do things. I really want to draw that. Bobbles? A pretty good draw because it lets me bridge and then whir the other way. Yeah, let's... Let's kill that and not have to worry about tracker clues for the rest of the game. Every clue just makes things so much more obnoxious. This is probably souls or... If it's another tracker, I'm... Well, I guess they wouldn't have played their land first, but that's not the point. Ooze is going to keep me off of search doing that, but that's fine. I want to draw the bauble because it's my... Last artifact. Um, that's all. That Thoughtseize is pretty good to draw, too. I don't have a reason to do anything here. I think this game should be over. Oh, well, you know, I'm going to have to do a few more clicks. But uh, that should be during the dead air time that I've uh, graciously allowed you to not have to experience. And last time, my mill kill was in, like, two or three minutes. So I can only assume this time it'll be faster. Soren, do nothing. Um, it's kind of annoying that I can't thought seize and were in the same turn. But that's, you know. Complaining about the little things. Yeah, whatever. I go to a life total. Oh, I messed this up. Whatever. I could have taken less damage. It's... At this point, it literally does not matter. Oh, I can't... I want to... Mm. Yeah, this is fine. The other words, the the backup, so that's okay. Okay, we got a bridge. Oh yeah, this this is gonna be good. Um, so I 
don't want to put Codex Shredder in my graveyard. I want to draw Codex Shredder. No Academy Runes, you say? That's like super marginal. There's a decay and they have a pulse. Interesting. This, draw that. I guess using oh, then I shuffle away the answer to their other piece. Uh, oh, this is so obnoxious. Maybe I was supposed to sacrifice this so I got the runes in my hand. I feel like I'm supposed to whir for my jar here. <sighs> okay. It'll be crunch time. We'll see what happens here. So I can... That decay is not the most relevant. So that's going straight to the graveyard. Oh, well that should just about lock it up. Don't need to do anything. Yeah, if that gets pulsed. Yeah, if it gets pulsed here, I get to. Uh, yeah, I can just mill that, so I don't care. If it gets. Yeah, if this gets pulsed, I put it back. Yeah, they're not. And if they don't pulse it here, yeah, that's perfectly fine by me. They don't have enough green to pulse plus ooze. And if they didn't pulse it there, I'd get back jar and then I'd jar lock them. It's eight. So I get a four. I actually want to draw that. Because it's a card I can guarantee to remove from my hand while spending. Oh, no, I don't. I draw the bridge so that's fine okay cool we're good we're good none of the cards they have so far do anything no i don't want to mill the card that i immediately win the game if i cast and uh we're off to the the game winning Okay, so lock engaged. I'm going to wait till I actually start milling my opponent out. They have an ooze. I don't think the ooze super matters right now, especially if my opponent doesn't even want to deploy it. I actually want to get a jar into play here before the ooze gets going. Um, I want to put that in my graveyard. Oh, yeah, I didn't even realize I had enough to do that. Thank you very much. I would like that. And then let's get the jar back. And then we have a bunch of stuff going on. And, yeah, this looks pretty much like lock assembled. I have to kill my opponent in the six minutes I have. But that doesn't matter too much. Okay. We're going to do this the, the more sure way. Where I, yeah, I don't need to do that. Um, tap this for Pixis. It's worth noting that Search is, or As Count of the Sunken Rune is a May. I'm not 
obligated to put anything in my hand. Um, I probably want to. Why would they do this? What do? They, what are they accomplishing by it? Getting a green here. I got a. Mm. I'm just ramping to the point of the game where I get more things per turn. I really want to get a bunch of dredges. So I guess um, there's no reason. I guess there's no reason to not take Bobble. And another lantern is effectively another lock piece. So I guess there's no reason to not draw that for the turn. And I'm just looking for all my pieces. I'm not going to start milling them until I have a more assured grasp of the situation. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to call it. I don't think anything interesting is going to happen past this point. Um, so we are, we're going to say that I won this one. It's pretty simple.